Hi, welcome to my pastel painting. I'm working on some saguaro cactuses. I sketched three separate sketches onto one piece of pastel paper. I'm going to frame them all together in one frame. Uh, you'll see that at the end. I start out by working on the sky in a landscape because it seems to push it back and you can bring everything forward that way. Um, then I started on the cactus using uh, semi-hard pastels. Uh, I work all over the painting, usually a little at a time. These are small paintings, only five by sevens, so uh, you can't really work exactly like you do when you're making a big painting. I work from back to front, as I said, and I um, usually put in the darks first, uh, a little bit of color all over. I try to get uh, spread my color around. Here the cactus was getting too wide so in pastels you can just brush it off with a brush and redo the work right over it again. I developed the shadow side with some dark green and reds. I always put reds in uh, that's probably a very dark red that I was using there. Put reds in under green uh, put a little earth color, put on the highlights. That's a much softer pastel for the highlights, probably uh, Cinelay. Uh, another little check there, brush that off with a brush. It was a little too dark, a little too high. Uh, finish it up with some light touches. And it's all done. The first one. I started on the second one. I tried to use some of the same colors uh, so that they would be color coordinated, but I wanted each one to have a different sky. So I uh, put in some clouds, put in the, some color in the clouds. I never, I never try to make my sky's all one color. I try to put several colors in the sky. Makes it more lively, doesn't look so dead. Um, work down, put some mountains in the background there with some blue. Just pushed it on, took it off real quick, and started working on the saguaros again. Uh, my hands are a little shaky as you see, so I have to be pretty careful with that. I try to keep all the cactus in the same color family and uh, put in some different landscaping in this one that I did the previous one. Then I checked it with the mats to see if I was coming out filling up the whole area so it wouldn't have blank areas when we put it up and worked on it. Then I started on number three. It had some bluffs in the background. So I worked from dark to light, put in the darks work over it with some lights, different shades of brown and mauves. Um, the one I'm using there, the big stick, is a nice mauve and it's good for the dirt in the background. I usually make the ground warmer as I come forward. Um, that pushes the other back. And in a small pastel, you don't have that much room to work on these different things. but works. Put in some touches of highlight. Again, it's a yellow greener color toward the back. Uh, plants back there a little more blue than green. And then bring the warm reddish and orange to the front. And that makes it pushes back the background. So here they are. Um, the first one. The second one has some more landscaping in it. And the third one has that and a different sky again in all three of them. So there they are pulled back. I think it came out pretty nifty. I'm going to put a mat over them like this and they'll be framed with a brown wooden frame around that. So it'll look very nice when it's all done. You can check out the process a little further on my website. I thank you for watching. 
See you again next time.